Hi, welcome to episode seven of What Sarah Said. This question comes to us from Aaron and he writes, I have a two part question. I have a large number of heavy history books that I've owned for more than 20 years. Moving them to a new location, I noticed that the top edges have black spots that cannot be removed. Fortunately, they don't as of yet penetrate into the face of the pages. The books were not in a wet location, but humid summers may have had an effect. I assume that these spots are some sort of living organism eating the books. Do I need to worry about the spots continuing to damage my books? The books have been moved to a much nicer location. Second question, do you have recommendations for affordable shelves to hold heavy books that perhaps have the strength found in a library? All my old shelves have warped. My current solution is to use metal utility shelving, which doesn't look proper for my beloved library. All right, so the first part of your question, the spots. So I had to hearken back to my training in library school. I started out wanting to be a rare books librarian, so I took lots of classes in preservation and book restoration. And my first thought was, oh God, it's black mold. And I think that's right. Without seeing a picture of what you're describing, this sounds like black mold to me. Um, depending on where they were, they could be insect droppings of some sort. Um, I looked on, on some preservation websites and found a few that pointed to you know spots of that nature. If they really are just on the top of the books, that could be coming from cockroaches, from silverfish, um, even from death watch beetles, although it's unlikely, um, carpet beetles, it could be a lot of things. Um, so I, I guess I have more questions, like were you finding insect casings or larvae or droppings of any kind around these books? Or is it truly just like little spots? And what do the spots look like? Are they big? Are they tiny? I'm gonna assume that they're kind of like tiny and while not uniformly uh, distributed somewhat, you know, if you look at the whole, um, and in that case, I think you've got a case of mold. It could be mildew, but if there's spots, it's usually mold. So that's bad. Um, yes, th that's going to continue to eat away at those books. Don't put them near any other books, anywhere near any other books, because it will pass instantaneously to whatever's next to it. Uh, you're, you're in pretty big trouble. The only way to treat mold that I'm aware of and that my research showed me with paper is to actually use bleach. And the bleach does have damaging effects on the paper long term. Uh, so you, while you could bleach it to stop the progression, you, there's no guarantee that it's not going to you know, create even you know, more or equal damage as the pages start to get brittle and fall apart from, from the damage of the bleach itself. Um, if it was mine, I'd probably do a bleach and water solution 50-50 and then using uh, probably a cotton swab or a ball, depending on how thick and large the books are, um, I would just dab a light solution of the bleach along the, the top of the, the pages where you do see the spotting and dry them out and see if that makes a difference. Um, I don't know if you've seen the spots progress, so there's a lot of questions, but, but that, that's my, my answer at first blush. And if you have more information, feel free to follow up via email and I'll try to do better. Um, and in terms of shelving, this is hard. So library shelving, there's a lot of library shelving out there from companies like Highsmith and Demco, uh, Gaylord and some other vendors. Um, and, and library shelving is expensive. So I don't know how much shelving you need uh, linear feet wise. If it's not very much and you want to get a really attractive, nice bookcase that's really sturdy and can hold those heavy books, that's what I would look at is one of those vendors. And I'll link to those in the show notes. Um, but if you're just looking at something uh, larger maybe, like you, you need a ton of book shelving that all matches together. I wouldn't look to formal library shelving for that because it is super, super expensive. Um, I've got some pretty heavy books myself and I'm just storing them on standard bookshelves that I purchased uh, through, you know, regular stores that aren't very expensive. So Target or Ikea uh, or other places like that. I do have friends who have some very attractive shelving that they had a local cabinet maker make for them. And while it was probably double what you would pay for something that you're getting at Target or Ikea, uh, you know, you get to pick the wood, you get to pick how 
you know, how big it is, exactly the dimensions. So you may want to look in a local artisans and see if there's anybody in your area who could craft something to specifically meet your space needs and, uh, and, and your weight needs, as it sounds like these books are really heavy. So thank you so much for your question and uh, tune in next time for the next episode of What Sarah Said.